What's up gamers? This is Asian Video Gamer here. Coming to you with a different game. It's FPS. Oh my god. My first time playing no, actually no. The first video on this channel is actually an FPS, but this is a really classic game that I love to death. But I haven't played this game for like a couple months already, so I'm pretty rusty. This is my first game. So what how's it going guys uh, it's been a while and holy shit I just got headshot right in the head shit by handgun <laughs> this game is so much fun so yeah what's up guys yeah I've been busy with uh, the house thing the marriage thing the wedding thing everything in life and you know just pretty much stuck doing shit I hardly got time to play games nowadays and there's so much stuff in the back burner but once November hits I will have so much time left and I will start pumping out the videos I promise or most people here don't give a fuck <laughs> I would think that's okay I hope my mic is not like super loud, but for some reason it just seems that way. Oh well, doesn't matter. Anyways, what I want to talk about is something completely different, yet still about gaming. And that is music. Gaming music. I've just been to one of the best cons um, orchestras in my life. It's uh, Replay, the music of heroes, I think that's what it's called. It's actually really, really good. It's like uh, going to orchest orchestras and uh, concerts, except it's all about gaming music. And it's really, really fun. You know, usually if you go to orchestras, they just have a band there playing the music. And for gamers like me and you, for young people like me and you, or if you're relatively old, it's kind of boring. And I usually fall asleep for those type of shit, and I just can't take it. But this one, they actually make it really, they produced it really well. Um, they not only include, like, the music from the games, they also sort of include, like, a video montage of the games themselves. Which makes the music really like, which makes the entire show really enjoyable and really fun. Some of the music you find there are really, really like epic games like God of War, Halo, Final Fantasy, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. Games that are really, really good, that have really, really good music. Um, they do include some really not so popular games, unfortunately. And during those times, it does get a little bit, a little bit, I would say, boring. But it's really far and few in between, so it's not that bad. Um, what else do I enjoy? I enjoy the fact that there's a narrative trying to, you know, make us make this entire show into the story and a quest. And I swear to God, the, the narrator is Patrick Stewart, because it's like the Castlevania Lord of Shadow game. You know, Patrick Stewart narrates a little bit every time you start the mission or the chapter. I swear to God, it's the same. I, I'm, I'm so sure it's Patrick Stewart, because the voice is... It, it's him. And the stuff they say is kind of the same as Castlevania Lord of Shadows. And it's really, really fun. I had a really fun time, and I was enjoying myself. Even though I'm not like a music freak, um, I really enjoyed it. I loved it. And holy shit, it's been like five minutes in, and I did not have a kill. I do not even have one kill. Holy shit, this guy just owned me in the ass. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. I suck at this game, man. I suck at this game. 
So, what's else? What else to talk about? Um, well, let's talk about Counter Strike since we're playing this game. When I was in high school, which is like almost like 15 years ago, they actually installed Counter Strike in all the computers. I think it was one of the guys that just like did it for fun, or like you know just to troll the troll the teachers. And damn, every time we go to computer class, like the the teacher doesn't give a shit, right? So all we do is play LAN games all day long. All day long, we just play playing games. It's so much fun. I can't believe it. Eh? And you know, it brings back memories. Like this game is like I don't know, two decades old, and still so much good. Still so good. Holy shit! I just got owned by this guy. I should have killed him. Oh well. It's okay. I'm still really rusty at this game because I haven't played in ages. I uh, I usually don't play uh, FPS games, but you know I do have my share of FPS games like Call of Duty, um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, God of uh, Gears of War. Well, actually, Gears of War is third person, but. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, first-person shooters. You know, it's been around the block, and I've played those games a lot. But not none of them match this game. This game just got me into gaming completely. Like, this is one of the first games I played ever, and I started playing games back in. Well, I wouldn't say the first game I played. The first game I played was Mario. But this is one of the first games that, you know, got me into hook into gaming. And holy shit, just pumped like all the all the bullets in this guy and still he didn't die. Wow, this guy's trying to knife me? What the fuck? What a douche. I'm so bad at this game right now. Like I'm so used to playing like Dark Souls and RPG games that like my reaction is so slow. And I, plus I do not know what this map is. I have no idea what this map is. So, it's hard to really play this game. So right now there's like five of us and one of the terrorists left. So there's no way he's gonna win. <laughs> and... I think this map is, um, every time you kill, you upgrade your weapon. You don't have to buy shit. Usually, like in Counter-Strike, you have to buy your equipment, like every game. You get resources if you win the match. And it's not like Call of Duty, you know, like you get kill streaks or shit like that. This is the first time I actually played a mode like this. So, I was confused at first, like, why can't I change weapons? I don't want this weapon. And now I realize, like, you have to kill before you can actually get a new weapon. Which is fine. As so as long as you get that first kill, then then you can, you know, get better weapons. And once you get better weapons, the kill kills will come. Like right now, this weapon I have is not bad. It's actually pretty good. So, geez, holy shit! I suck. It took so much. Ran into him, spray and pray. No, I usually not that bad, but you know this is the first game back, so give, cut me some slack. So now I have the Desert Eagle. I love this. I love this gun. This is like one of my favorite guns. It's like the the Magnum gun. It's so much fun. Oh shit! So I see that guy. To shoot him. I have no idea how shooting at the wall gets me that kill, but it did. So that's cool. Yay! I threw a grenade into nowhere. Yay! I'm so good at this game. 
that. Getting one. kills by shooting at the wall. Nope. Yep. Now this is where it gets difficult because I think the next weapon I get is a shotgun and I have no I've I don't know the map. I have no idea how this map goes, so that's a problem. Like I can't surprise him. Like the only way I can go, like I know, is go through here, which is like right in front of everybody. Like right now, I'm, like this it's not even the auto shoddy, it's like one shot shoddy, like oh my god. Oh my god. Nothing I can do except run into this bullet and die. Yeah. Man, this game is so fun. <laughs> I remember used to playing it with uh, friends and we just talk smack every time. Like every day at school. It was like a high school. Like back then, like the high school weren't that strict. And people can just fuck around and do nothing all day. The teacher didn't give a shit. Like we, he was watching us play these games and he, he just didn't, doesn't care. It's funny how like I failed computer science in high school and now my work, my profession is computer science. It's really funny. It's just ironic how that works. Like I'm making a lot of money from there. From 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 being a programmer. But I just suck at it. Back in high school. Um I wish I could actually, you know, learn uh did better at school when i was a kid maybe i would have gotten i don't know better job better pay didn't have to take so long to get to where i am but if i did that i would have missed out on all these games that these precious memories of me playing games and i think i think you know like there there are things worth There are things that are worth, like, to get, like education, but there's things that, you know, you shouldn't give up just because the world tells you to. Like, my dad keeps telling me to not play games, and it's like, why not? You know, games are pretty revolutionary right now at this time. It's one of the leading industries in the world. Ten years ago, there wouldn't be a lot of people saying they're gamers. Nowadays, holy shit, that like over fifty percent of the people play games. Like, it's just the different style of games that people play. You know, like there you have your triple A platinum gamers like um, Call of Duty, Battlefield, the the big titles like Dragon Age or. Elder Scrolls and World of Warcraft, Starcraft, League of Legends type of people. And then you have those um, that play like Candy Crush or, you know, puzzle games or whatever games. Fuck, what are you doing? Those games are legit too, you know, they, they're games. They keep people occupied and away from doing like stressing out from real life stuff and I think people are open to the concept that everyone can be a gamer and it's not as bad as it was 10 years ago 10 years ago when I was playing World of Warcraft or whatever game out there like it's not like a game that people give other people credit for like it's a good like people would think like those people are losers and you know, that's not really the truth. Well, why are you pushing with, pushing with three seconds left on the fucking... Oh my gosh. And yeah. Well, that's pretty much the video I wanted to talk about. Hopefully I'll have some time later on to make more videos. And catch you guys next time.